Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wabrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well, including you men who may not be teachers or prophets, to you women and children as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring, and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible. Okay? So, let's jump to the book of Luke. Chapter 4 and verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So in order for you to be able to preach this gospel, you're going to need the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. See, it is not of ourselves. Many people may look at us like, wow, you know, how is he able to just bring out different scriptures and line them up the way that he does? It's not of ourselves. It's of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? He gets the glory. And the fact that we've been given that ability, it's an honor. It's an opportunity. All right? And it's definitely something that um, we should be grateful for. All right? So this is in the red letters. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. I'm going to read it again. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And who are the poor? You Israelites, but primarily the humble, the meek of Israel, the elect, the remnant of Israel. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. And our people are bruised. It's our people who have been destroyed. It's our people who needs deliverance. That's how you know this is all about Israel. This is Esau's world. Why would Esau need to be delivered from his own world? The heathen, they've joined hand with these damn devils. Why would they need deliverance from this current world when they're winning? The nation of Israel, we're the, under, the underdogs, all right? To set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. All right. So in order for us to bring out this word, we need the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. This gospel is the word of truth, as it says. Let me get that. We're gonna to go to the book of Ephesians, chapter one and verse thirteen. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed, that Holy Spirit of promise. So once you believe, once you've heard this gospel and you believe, and you hold on, you've been sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which basically means you're of the elect. If you receive this gospel and you endure, you hold on to it until the very end. All right? So just as you need the spirit to bring out the word, you need the spirit, all right, to believe. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So the gospel is the word of truth. In whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit promise all right so the gospel is the word of truth everybody's not able to receive this word of truth a lot of people may get offended by the gospel okay let's get that let's go to galatians what is that in what's that galatians 1 let's go to galatians 4 And 16, am I therefore become your enemy 
because I tell you the truth. Let's go to Galatians 1 and verse 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Mashiach unto, the, unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Mashiach. Remember, the gospel, all right, is the word of truth. Now, seeing that it is the word of truth, you're going to have some who try to pervert the gospel, making it not the word of truth, trying to corrupt it. All right, so let's read verse 7, Galatians 1 and 7. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Mashiach. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So that's how serious this doctrine is. Don't let no one else tell you any different. If anyone tells you Esau's not the so-called white man, primarily, if anyone tells you uh, not only Israel can be saved, but all nations under the sun, as in regardless of what kind of heathen you are, you can partake. No, that's all a lie. Anyone else telling you that, let them be accursed and so on. There's, there's countless examples. Verse nine, as we said before, so say I. Now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Mashiach. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. So the word of truth is not after man. And we become enemies because we bring out this word of truth. So just as you need the spirit to receive the truth, you need the spirit to teach the truth in its fullness, in its pureness, all right? Anyone can pull out the Bible and read the scriptures and act like they're breaking it down, but you need the spirit to actually break it down in truth, okay? Most people, if they hear the gospel, even if they act like they're, they're with it, they're not with it, all right? A lot of people act. A lot of people may say shalom, you know, which, you know, it's, it's cool. It, it feels good to to get acknowledgement here and there by man, you know, but that's the flesh, man. R what what really matters is pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, but most people though, they don't they don't care about the word. Let's go to Romans ten and thirteen here. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs> so the name is so important that you need it to be saved. Look at that, verse fourteen. How then shall they call on him? whom they have not believed. So again, in order for you to um, be sealed with the Holy Spirit, after you hear the word, you have to believe it. Okay, as I brought out already. And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Okay, so how is, how is someone going to preach if the Spirit's not on them, seeing you need the Spirit to even teach the gospel? Okay, so the men who are bringing out this word have the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, stop looking at men like they're average because oh well he can't even grow a beard on his face, his beard's not even that big, or his lineup is all jank. Not lineup, you know when I say lineup, but his hairline's all messed up. He can't even grow hair on his head. He going bald. He he's uh missing teeth. He ain't even. Five nine, he fat. You know, you're looking at things carnally. That's not going to help you. Whoever the Lord raises up is according to his own mind. Okay, so whoever the Lord is raising up to teach this Bible, if the Spirit's not on you to believe, you're not going to believe regardless of how he may look or sound. Okay, verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? So the Spirit has to be on you to teach his word. Okay. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And the feet is the foundation of the body. All right. And our foundation is Yahweh Shai. All right. Just like when it comes to a woman, man, I like me a woman with some nice, beautiful feet. And seeing that the Lord is comparing us to a woman 
with pretty feet. The feet is the foundation. Yahweh Shai being our foundation also. That's our deliverer. That's our Lord. Without him, we wouldn't even be able to bring out the word. Period. All right. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So in order for you to believe, again, that spirit has to be on you, but not everyone is going to believe. A lot of people, after hearing this word, you know what's going to happen? They're going to reject it. They're going to forsake it. But at that point, you know, they're in danger, even more so. Let's get that right quick. What's that? John 15. This might not be the scripture, actually. I haven't brought this out in a little bit. It's been a few months. Let me see. Let's try 14. Pretty sure I'm close. What I'm going to do, type in a word here. There we go. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. So where we are the followers of Yahweh Shai, we come in his stead. Just as he was teaching the word, we're teaching the word. Okay? So seeing that you've heard the word, if you don't believe, now you're in danger. You have no excuse. Okay? That's why it says, you know, um... How shall they believe in him who they have not heard? So how can you be accountable for something you haven't heard about? But after hearing this word, you're accountable. Okay? That's why faith comes by hearing the word. All right? As it says in uh, Romans 10 and 17. So at the end of the day, many people have heard this word. And there's really no excuses on why they're not listening outside of they're just wicked as hell. Okay? Because at the end of the day... Uh, most people are stony ground. Their minds are like stony ground. They're not like fertile soil. So although the seed has been planted in everybody, that seed is not going to grow within everybody because it's not meant for everybody. It's meant for the elect and that remnant. Okay. Let's go to. I'm going to close it here. Mark 1 and 14. Now after that, John was put in prison. Yahweh Shai came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. All right? So the belief in this gospel is highly important. And that's where I'm going to leave this lesson. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. So all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wa Rakakwadash. Shalom.